Shalom. Today is April 2, 2020, Thursday. Our topic, scene number four, second meeting of the Divine Assembly, chapter 2, 1 to 6. The text goes this way. One day, the heavenly beings came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan, or the Satan, also came among them to present himself before the Lord. The Lord said to the Satan, Where have you come from? The Satan answered the Lord, From going to and fro on earth and from walking up and down on it. The Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man who fears God and turns away from evil. He still persists in his integrity. Although you incited me against him, to destroy him for no reason. Then Satan answered the Lord, Skin for skin, all that people have, they will give to the save their lives. But stretch out your hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse you to your face. The Lord said to Satan, to the Satan, Very well, he is in your power, only spare his life. Commenting then on the text, first on the, the word integrity. This is a modern word. This is a, a modern word, Integrit, from Latin integritas. The word in Hebrew is tumma. Tumma, here it is, tumma. And uh, this word is variously translated, depends what... Uh, kind of version of the Bible you are using. For, ex for example, our NRSV has integrity. When you go to uh, the New American Bible, it uses the word uh, innocence. Yeah? innocence. Uh, the Vulgate has the, the word sensiam, or innocence. And uh, Septuagint, Greek. Yeah. And the word in Septuagint, Greek, is this one. Akakias, meaning uh, uh, not doing bad. Kakos is bad in 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 uh, in Greek, and then you have the uh, privative a, uh, not not bad. So uh, and trans various translations in other uh, biblical uh, versions in in biblical uh, Bibles in English. Perfection, blamelessness, completion, uprightness, honesty, loyalty, holiness, wholeness, sound health, innocence, and in integrity, and so forth and so on. Another meaning that we can give to tumma or integrity, which I think is closer to the context, is uh, the sense of fear of the Lord. Fear of the Lord that is connected with uh, possessing wisdom. Uh, you remember, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Where will we have that uh, uh, I, a connection between integrity and fear of the Lord? Well, when you go to uh, chapter 4, verse 6, uh, and this is uh, uh, Eliphaz, uh, the f one of the friends of Job, making a speech you know, and addressing Job. Uh, so he addresses Job as saying, Is not your fear of God, your confidence and integrity of your ways, your hope? Uh, the word integrity, there is uh, tum, tumma. Here it is uh, tum, uh, is uh, in parallel with the fear of God. So integrity is not so much about being uh, person who is holistic and mature, you know, mature outlook in life, it's more of a of devotion to Yahweh, uh, of having that re reverential fear of God, you know, that whatever will happen to him, you know, to Job, you know, he, he, will, he will not question God, he, God's uh, justice, he will not... Uh, complain to God. He will take it as it is because of that commitment. So it's a kind of 
religious piety or uh, devotion that is unwavering. Notice also what the Lord said to Satan, this uh, a final sentence in this section. He said, very well, he is in your power. Literally, he is in your hand. God himself is allowing the evil to happen uh, to Job. And God has, even if it's only an indirect way, a responsibility for uh, the, the evil thing that will happen to him. In short, he permit evil. God uh, is not directly punishing Job. It's, it's the Satan who will do that. But he permits it to happen. He allows it to happen. 